everybody. Uh, John here from Make Math Moments, and uh, I am uh, coming to you on Sunday morning, and I just wanted to share with you uh, how you can solve uh, equations with algebra tiles, but involve fractions. And sometimes that can, can be kind of like, oh, I, I've been using algebra tiles, but now we've got a fraction question. How can I model that with algebra tiles? And uh, before we get going here, I just want to remind you uh, to subscribe here to our show, uh, to our channel, uh, hit that bell so that you get notified as we uh, go live at any time, okay? So uh, we're gonna jump right in here, but this actually comes from uh, a question from one our, of our uh, Make Math Moments uh, community members over on our Facebook group. Uh, Sean Sean was posing this question, wondered how this uh, was done. Lots of folks uh, noticed there's 27 comments on this one, but I just wanted to model this how I have done it in my class. So uh, let me jump right in. I'm using a tool called uh, Braining Camp to do that. And so I've set up the, the Braining Camp. Notice we got our algebra tiles over on the side here. You can change the type of uh, kind of map or kind of canvas you have. Uh, I'm gonna go to solving, which put, basically just puts a line down the middle. You've got your, your eye window down here in the corner. Uh, I'm turning that off just so we don't see the equations with our students. I've got my pen tool, and I'm just gonna go write Sean's equation up on the screen here. Like he had K uh, divided by minus three, I believe plus three, and then that all equaled one. Let me just go check that. Uh, oh, no, it equals negative two. Okay, so let me uh, let me go fix that right there. And that equals negative two. All right, so what normally you would do if, is if, let's just uh, quickly, let's keep that uh, case. But if you uh, were working with algebra tiles, like if, if this is your first time with algebra tiles, there are other videos here to help you kind of model that. But if I just had like K, uh, I don't know, uh, plus two uh, equals, uh, five, what you would do on your your algebra tile is model the k value with your unknown value of x here. Uh, I'm going to do that uh, by grabbing the x and dragging it to the left side of the equation, and then I'm modeling that with adding two to it. So here's one and two. So here's an x plus two or uh, k plus two modeled. And over here, I've got five. So I've got to say, you know what, that equals five over here. So there's one, two, I'm just going to double that just to speed things up. So now there's, uh, oh, uh, let me double that. There's four, and then I'm going to add one more to that list. And so then what we would do is use our zero principle to isolate for this unknown value of x. So if x plus two is five, well, we want to know what x is. So how would I I'm gonna eliminate this or make these zero as our zero principle. I need to bring in its opposite. Now, if I do that, I have to bring in its op opposite value to the other side uh, of the equation, like the golden rule of math here when you're solving equations. So I do that uh, for those two, and then I just match that. And then beautifully, Braining Camp is going to make your use of your zero principle, and you can do that on this side, and you've got this nice equation that states, hey, one x is equal to one, two, three, uh, values or three counters. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get rid of that because I want to show you how to do it with fractions. Okay, let me uh, let me just click that to delete that, and we'll delete these. Okay, so if this is the case, we're solving Sean's qu uh, question right up here. I'm going to first drag uh, x, but I'm gonna I got this dividing by minus three, this fraction of over a minus three. So I'm gonna bring in its opposite because I've got this minus. And uh, I got three, one, two, give me in here, one, two, and three. And then I got minus two on the other side, one, uh, two uh, minuses. All right, now, what we could do is, uh, if you notice, if you're modeling, this is also a great strategy you could use with your students, is before you show how to do this yourself is give them a chance to demonstrate what they might do to model that right have them have them kind of put this on the screen and say look at okay we don't have k plus three equals negative two we have k over minus three like what might that look like as a model and then see what they come up with um and here's one one uh, thing where, where one student came up with this because this isn't remember we're not having a k we have actually a minus uh, a third almost of ha what's happening here so notice i'm going to split and partition this x, negative x into thirds. And it really, I'm looking at like, I want a third of that, uh, a third of that plus three uh, minus two equals, or sorry, equals minus two. And so if I partition this equation into thirds instead of wholes, right? So it's like, 
I've got a third all the way across here. A third of that x plus 3 equals minus 2. And then I partition it all the way across like that. Then I can say, look at, okay, well, if I want to know what k is, I need a k is a whole. So I would say I would need another third and another third to make a whole. So I could match that third on both sides of the equal signs. Like, okay, well, I have one third plus three equals minus two. Well, what would two thirds be? What would three thirds look like? So another third would be another group of those and another group of those. So notice I've just doubled or added uh, this like double this equation or added another row of that equation. And then I would say, do that again. Or right. so one way to look at it is I just tripled the equation. I made not a third, I made it a whole. And that's equivalent to, now if you were teaching this topic and you didn't use algebra tiles, and I did this for years, uh, I would just say, hey, you multiply by the denominator or a common denominator to clear that fraction out of there. And that's what we're doing here in this model. So I'm gonna erase this because all we did was triple this or add another third every time. You just have to do it to the whole model. And so now I've got a full model. I've got a full negative x tile. And now I'm back to kind of what we did at the beginning over here. I can solve this using my uh, opposite operations or making use of the zero principle. So what I would do is, hey, I want to isolate for this negative x. I'm going to bring in nine uh, opposites. So I'm just going to, uh, to simplify this with uh, Brandon Camp here. I'm going to double that. I'm going to switch the signs. Uh, and notice that I would have to, remember, do that to both sides. So there goes the 9 over there. And then I would start making use of my 0 principle. And here I'll go all of those little ones. And so we're really subtracting 9 from both sides or adding negative 9 to both sides. And I've got that over there. So notice there's nothing to simplify on that side. Now, algebraically, look what we've just done. We have said, you know what, I'm tripling both sides of this equation. And when I triple that, I get one minus k. I get a minus k and I get plus nine and then equals minus six. And then what do we do? Well, we added negative nine to both sides. And now I'm at a spot where negative k equals negative 15. And then whew, what do we do now to solve with algebra tiles? Well, I would do the if I have the opposite of k here equals the opposite of 15, well, one full k instead of its opposite, tapping that doesn't, I got to tap it with my mouse instead of my pen. I'm just flipping it over with tiles. And what you're doing is you're doing the opposite of one is the opposite of the other or multiplying through by negative one or dividing by negative one at that point right there and you get 15. So we got this nice model but we've started with a fractional equation. So, uh, or an equation uh, that involved a fraction. Don't think of it as, how do I model a third? Partition, partition your fraction and then model the equation after that. All right, uh, that uh, was just the one example. Well, a quick one here for you. I wanted to uh, show you, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. And if you're watching this on, uh, say, Facebook, get on over to the YouTube channel, subscribe there. Uh, if you're watching this on uh, another social media platform, get on over to the YouTube, hit subscribe so you know when we go live or can see others uh, or other things. But I want to leave you with uh, one more uh, one more kind of takeaway here is we have lots of courses uh, on like how to do certain things. We've got a whole course on technology and how to choose technology for your classroom inside the uh, Make Math Moments Academy. So uh, you get your first 30 days for free over there. Uh, so check that out for you, but uh, take care and uh, we'll see you next time.